How's it going, Morgan Hill, my small town with a big heart. This is Nima Mariti with the Mariti team coming at you with your October monthly market update. Before we get into that, interest rates, they've been steadily increasing. The jumbo mortgage rates are around 7.3% last time I checked. The 10-year treasury yield is around 4.8% when I checked this morning. That's um, a high since 2007. It's been the highest it's been since then. And the rates overall, the interest rates are around 22 year high. So uh, it seems like the Federal Reserve is just taking a gas, um, a jackhammer to the, to the economy and um, essentially trying to bring that unemployment number higher and higher before they're comfortable with where they are, you know, with rates. Um, I wish they would take into consideration a lot of the markets that are tied to the financial sector, a lot of those businesses like in real estate, lending, uh, the car business, you name it. A lot of businesses are hurting because of that. Um, so I, I personally believe that they should be looking at the whole picture, not just one specific quadrant. But hey, that's just my opinion. I know you folks tuned in to find out what's going on with the housing market here in town. So let's get into that. In Morgan Hill, for the single family homes, we'll start with those first. The median list price hit in the market is 1.3 million that's up from last month when I reported 1 million 225 so we've seen around a $75,000 increase from in September we were at 1 million dollars to October at 1.3 million the price per square foot calculates out to $619 in September I had reported $621 so we're down a few dollars price per square foot but you know we're up $75,000 month over month with the list prices so as you can see list price is going to be different from sale price and the price per square foot is usually a factored in from the sale price so then you can see why those numbers differ a little bit if you're ever curious to, to get more into these details and have me answer your questions my link at the bottom of this video has access to my Calendly link and you could book a time to chat with me and I'd love to answer any of those questions but let's keep going the median days in the market for the average single-family home in town is 35 days last month we were at 49 days so we're down around two two weeks um, from when the time the property hits the market to the time the property gets in the contract. Uh, price reductions, we were at 38% for the month of October. That's down from last month when I had reported 52%. So it's nice to see it decrease around 14% month over month. Um, there was 50 single family homes last time I checked this morning for sale in our, in our beloved town in Morgan Hill. Last month though, I had also reported 50. So the inventory level is, is hovering around the same um, the same number, it's stabilized. So it's not really going up, not really going down month over month. And overall, there's been a tad increase in single family home demand, um, which is nice because the last few months we've, I saw a decrease. So now it's been steadily picking back up with our interest in, in purchasing single family homes in Morgan Hill month over month and the fastest selling out of those i noticed there was a property it was around 3100 square feet four bed uh three and a half bath on three quarters of an acre of a lot uh, that was only on the market for seven days and it got into contract so interesting to see that's substantially less than um you know the other numbers that i'm reporting i'm talking like you know five times lower than the average so it just tells me that when there's a specific type of home that a buyer is interested in even though with these higher interest rates have knocked off a lot of buyers unfortunately they see it they notice it they like it they pull the trigger on it and as a rule of thumb for every percentage point that the rates increase a buyer's purchasing power drops around 10 percent so you know take that with a grain of salt that's usually the, the the metrics i use now that was for the single family homes hey folks i'm so sorry to interrupt the video but i had to tell you about this really cool product that i have called homebot now i use this for all of my past clients it essentially breaks down all of your financial metrics and insights for the home whether it's the current mortgage rate amount of equity you've made the amount of savings you've made as being a homeowner and percentage of principal to, to interest that you've paid off on the loan there's a lot of metrics that this provides and it's much better than those websites like Zillow and Redfin as well because outside of all those metrics that I had just referenced those websites can be off by like 10% plus or minus I'm talking the most accurate data that you can get customizable alerts about when rates drop and if you were to refinance how much money you can save the equity you've made on the property home equity lines of credit like if you're looking to trade up or down with your existing property or you want to pull some money out through a HELOC and go in and buy an investment if you're interested in this please reach out to me because I would give you a monthly report of all of this information obviously free of charge my past clients love it I'd love to offer Offer it to you so reach out if this sounds interesting let's get back let's get into the condos and townhomes because the median list price for those I'm reporting first week of October at eight hundred and ninety five thousand dollars last month I had reported one million seventy eight 
So we're, so we're down substantially month over month for those prices. The median list price though, no change. Last month I had reported $505 per square foot. This month it's the same number. The median days on the market, just like the single family homes, I'm reporting 35 days. Uh, that's up a bit because in September I had reported 32, so we're up three days month over month for how long a property is sitting on the market till the time it gets in a contract by an able, uh, willing buyer. Price reductions, we haven't had any. We have a lower inventory number that I'll get into for this month, but I haven't seen any price reductions coming in for the month of October. While well, last month I'm on half of the inventory was taking a price reduction before they got into contract. Overall, nine homes were on the market when I checked. That's down a bit from last month when we were at 12. So inventory has decreased a little bit. And overall, there's been no change in demand month over month. Has it increased? Hasn't decreased. It's staying fairly steady. That being said, the fastest selling out of them, I noticed a few uh, properties around 17, 800, I'm sorry, 17, 1800 square feet, three bed, two and a half bath. They were on the market for 24 days, these condos and townhomes, and they got into contract. So it's around 11 days less than the average for town. So, you know, if there's a specific property with respect to layout, schools, location, right? Proximity to employment, folks are jumping on it. Overall, you know, I love this town. Um, I try not to get into the emotions when I report this data. I go straight off of that data. Uh, I'm a homeowner in Morgan Hill. I love Morgan Hill. So the data that I'm reporting is straight from the source from Altos Research that I normally use on a month to month basis. And um, I'm so excited for Halloween. I mean, it's earlier, it's gonna be later in this month. My son is getting a little older. He's three years old now. and. We just walk through the neighborhood and he sees all the costumes, you know, for that, that folks are putting out like in front of their yards, like all the decorations, you know, with the pumpkins and goats and skeletons. And it's like something he wants to do every night. So it's really, really cute. I'm excited for what's going on at Gilroy Gardens. We're definitely going to be hitting that up a few times this season so you can see all the decor. And I really appreciate you folks tuning in. Uh, more from me next month for the month of November. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.